Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel, and in the video today we're answering the question of why the hottest part of the summer is called the dog days. The earliest reference to some aspect of this expression goes all the way back to the ancient Egyptians. They noted that the heliacal rising of the star Sirius heralded the hottest part of the summer. However, it isn't exactly known why the ancient Egyptians associated this star with a dog. The star's hieroglyph is a dog. Sirius would appear in Egypt after about a 70-day absence, just before the season where the Nile typically floods, so it is thought that the star's hieroglyphic symbol, being a dog, symbolized a watchdog. On the other hand, it's very possible that it was for the same reason the ancient Greeks and ancient Romans would also eventually associate this star with a dog. Namely, that it is the brightest star in what is now known as the Canis Major, Latin for Greater Dog or Big Dog constellation. This constellation simply looks a little bit like a dog, and Sirius is the brightest star in the constellation. So the star got named the Dog Star, and its heliacal rising marked the start of the hottest part of the year, which then became the Dog Days. The Roman expression for dog days was dies caniculares, Latin for dog days. The Greeks also had an expression that literally translated to dog days. They both believed that when Sirius rose around the same time as the sun, it contributed to that time of year becoming hotter. As such, they would often make sacrifices to Sirius, including sacrificing dogs, to appease Sirius, with the hope that this would result in a mild summer and would protect their crops from scorching. Sirius A is the brightest star visible to the naked eye from the Earth, being almost twice as bright as Canopus. Sirius A and Sirius B combine to form a binary system and appear as one star to the naked eye, though the vast majority of luminosity to the naked eye comes from Sirius A, Sirius B being a white dwarf that is only around 30 astronomical units away from Sirius A. It is also theorized that there is a Sirius C, but to date this has not been proven. Sirius A and B and possibly C combine to form a bright point known as Sirius. If you're wondering, yes, Sirius Black in Harry Potter is thought to have been named after the white dwarf Sirius B. The relationship is further extended by the fact that the character Sirius Black was able to change into a dog. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out some of our other videos that are over there on the right. And thank you for watching.